Scientists at VTT have demonstrated continuous production of mycelium leather at one meter per minute. The material is 100% bio-based and production is environmentally sustainable. Fungal mycelium is produced in a bioreactor, collected and processed. The mycelium can then be casted continuously to produce a film. Finally, the sheet is dried, resulting in a leather-like material. This new material can be colored and patterned, while the production method ensures consistent material quality with competitive production costs. Developing alternative sustainable materials for the fashion industry is a major environmental concern. The industry is responsible for a full 10% of global carbon emissions. That's more than all international flights and maritime shipping combined. And a major culprit within the fashion industry is leather production. With a carbon footprint estimated to be equivalent to the CO2 emissions of 30 million passenger vehicles annually. Although leather-like materials can be made from bio-based and animal-free resources, no one has created a leather substitute that is sustainable, cost-effective, and meets consumer expectations. Researchers at VTT believe biotechnology could be the answer. So we grow fungal mycelium and use it to make leather-like fabrics to replace animal leather. When we look at the fashion industry and, and the, the leather industry, uh, it belongs to a really complex uh, supply chain. So I think by looking at these uh, new forms of uh, uh, alternative materials to leather, uh, like those produced with fungi, I think it can really change the, the industry. All filamentous fungi have mycelium. Mycelium are the root structures of filamentous mushrooms. And this is what scientists engineer to produce materials. We control the conditions so that we only get the mycelium. We don't need the mushroom. Synthetic biology allows scientists to design materials from the cellular level. This enables them to achieve a variety of desired properties. We can start to bioengineer mycelium and uh, play with the strength, uh, heat resistance, uh, abrasion resistance, try to bring in new functionality into the material by bioengineering uh, methods. In addition to its superior performance, the new material is significantly more sustainable than leather in many ways. We can control and make the uh, mycelium uh, grow from, let's say, organic waste, for example, and because we don't need fields, we can grow it in, in the lab conditions. We save surface land area. We don't produce so much carbon dioxide as with the cows, for example, and end product is biodegradable. The new leather project brings together designers and scientists to tackle the challenges of conventional leather production. And I think as designers, we understand like the, the end consumer and their needs. So then we can then breach this gap to create products that actually are needed by the consumers and at the same time are um, responsible to the, to the environment. The demand for sustainable materials is growing rapidly. And new leather takes us one step closer to a more sustainable fashion industry.